Okay, so let's bring in a little detail in the eyes. I know that's what everybody wants to see. And I'll get both eyes started. I wanna look at it straight up. I wanna make sure I have them level. So um, the tear ducts level. It's another thing I noticed. I wanna bring that one up a little bit and this one down a little bit. A little Picasso going on there. Uh, if anybody knows that reference, put it on the Facebook page. What's the reference with Picasso and eye levels? So I'm gonna get the darkest dark on both eyes, which is the pupil. And then I'm gonna take that color and blend it out to the edge. Leave a slight highlight in the secondary eye. I think I, I wanna make that just a little bigger. This is, this is the fun part to watch. This is when the features start to come into play and I'm just using my value study as the guide. There's a slight um, highlight there in the whites of the eye and then there's a dark right there and I want that all to be soft so I'm going to blend it. On this eye I want it all to be soft and I like that highlight on the top of her lid so I'm going to come down just a little bit further and catch that puffy I mean, when we're, we're tired, that gets real puffy, that area under the, the lid, or for, in spring, it, um, it gets uh, puffy, and for me anyway, if, if you have allergies, that gets real puffy under there, in that lower lid. Okay, and I do want to um, hint at her lashes with a, kind of a dark line. I'm going into the red and the blue just to get dark. I'm gonna hint at her lashes and I'm gonna blend it right into that eye. Okay, so that's the left eye. And I wanna blend this dark out and make this all really indistinct. I'm probably touching this a little too much for my taste in once and out. Curious Mondo fans, thank you for checking out our YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe. Also, check out the other videos in the channel for some fabulous tips, techniques, and interviews with artists.